Hello all, welcome to Gravity Productions. As Kerala is famous for its backwaters, rivers and coastal regions, fish is the staple food here. So in this video, we will show you how a fish net is used. So let's get into the video. Since the earlier centuries, fishing played a pivotal place in the life of mankind. It is evident that human culture originated on the banks of rivers and so, in its development into modern society, people depended on various natural resources for living. Fish, the very easily accessible natural resource, is one of the chief means of livelihood to man not only in ancient times but also in the present days. Vishuvala in Malayalam or cast net is commonly used in rivers and ponds. For centuries, the fishermen communities of Kerala coast adopted their own indigenous techniques to catch the fish with their own traditional crafts and gears. Here in marketing also, their main preference is local markets. A cast net is also called a throw net. It is a net used for fishing. It is a circular net with small weights distributed around its edge. The knowledge related to the winds, ocean currents, teeming shoal of fish, cosmic forces etc. are also linked with their religious faith. Thus, they are not greedy to fish in a monsoon sea. In short, the profession of fishing is highly associated with belief system, religious practices etc. adopted by a folk throughout their ancestry. A fishing net is a net used for fishing. Nets are devices made from fibers woven in a grid-like structure. Some fishing nets are also called fish trap, for example, fike nets. Fishing nets are usually meshes formed by knotting a relatively thin thread. Early nets were woven from grasses, flaxes and other fibrous plant material. Later, cotton was used. Modern nets are usually made of artificial polyamides like nylon, all the nets of organic polyamides such as wool or silk thread were common until recently and are still used. To break down the process of casting net, we can divide it into three steps. Belia mean matra ke tolu. Ada air mana tu tu mulai kalau ana sahaja nak buat kan? Itu ceria kan dia? Itu ceria kan dia ana? Ceria mana kalau itu? Ini pola amal pisang ni dekumpul. Adiom, uru janda dikir, matki itu. Janda amat orang nori matki. Cerdaki beri dia. Tetapi uru muni lama, dengan na kodan je dekta. Porang gaye ke, mukti lidi dekga. Aduh, ini ni, ini mungkin lah untuk faham kita. Tulkayel pergi ke arah mana? Mungkin asalnya ada tulkayel ada di mana? Mungkin asalnya, ini petaruh itu ada kan? Ciri kurda lah, orang orang korang pergi lah. Ini pokok orang orang kan? Ini ini macam ini ada apa sih lah? Ini pokok orang orang ini boleh, ah macam orang orang ini, kalau tu, kalau tu ni mutton, kita orang ini untuk wisan patah tu di sini baru. Alda height ni ada cerita tu adjust ya, adjust ya tu ada cerita. A normal fishing net can be about 12 feet long. First, we have to hold the hand line in our left hand and decrease the length of the net by folding it two times or three times. This depends upon the height of the person. Pada mata tu le, pergi cakap orang bukik, level anu nuaga. 
ഈ ചരടിലാണ് വലിക്കുന്നത് അല്ലേ ആ അപ്പം മൂന്ന് മൂന്നായിട്ടാണ് എടുക്കണമെങ്കിൽ ഇച്ചിരി കൂടെ കുറച്ച് കുടിക്കുക ഇനി അതിൻ്റെ പകുതിക്ക് മടക്കുക ഇനി മൂന്നിലൊന്ന് പുറകോട്ട് പുറം കഴിച്ച് എടുത്തിടണം ഇത് കണ്ണികൾ എവിടെയെങ്കിലും ഉടക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ടോ എന്ന് പയ്യ പൊക്കിയിട്ട് നോക്കുക കണ്ണികൾ ഉടക്കിയിട്ടില്ല എങ്കിൽ വീശാം The net is cast or thrown by hand in such a manner that it spreads out while it's in the air before it sinks into the water. This technique is called net casting or net throwing. Bala kodayana nammal ee iya ellam kodanje edukkumbol adinda odakkal undengil pogugayo adinothulla karadukal ellam maarugayum cheyyum. Meen ullathu namakku pirakki edukkanum pattum. Ee reethilana bala kodanje edukkunnathu. So clear right. So fish are caught as the net is hauled back in the simple device is particularly effective for catching small bait or forage fish and has been in use with various modifications for thousands of years the net when skillfully thrown into water it spreads like an umbrella and sinks into the bottom a rope tied to the base is held in the hand as the perimeter fitted with sinker touches the bottom the string at the base is pulled to raise the net above water Casting nets of cotton thread or coir of various shapes and sizes were used by fishermen of early days in Kerala. Contemporary cast nets have a radius which ranges from 4 to 12 feet. Only strong people can lift the larger nets once they're filled with fish. Standard nets for recreational fishing have a 4-foot hook. The next step is to take one third of the net and place it above the elbow of your left hand so that it envelops your backside. Weights are usually distributed around the edge at about 1 pound per foot or 1.5 kilograms per meter. Cast nets work best in water no deeper than the radius. Casting is best done in waters free of obstructions. Reed coast tangles and branches can rip nets. A 
Attached to the net is a hand line, one end of which is held in the hand as the net is thrown. After that, take another equal section of the net and hold it in your right hand. When the net is full, a retrieval clamp which works like a ringer on a mop closes the net around the fish. The last portion should also be equal and can be left to dangle towards the ground. We are now ready to cast the net. The net caster may choose to stand with one hand holding the hand line and with the net draped over the other arm so that the weights dangle. Or with most of the net being held in one hand, only a part of the late line held in the other hand so the weights dangle in a staggered fashion. The line is then thrown out to the water using both hands in a circular motion rather than in hammer throwing. The net can be cast from a boat or from the shore or by wading. The net is then retrieved by pulling on this hand line. The net is lifted into a bucket and the clam is released, dumping the caught fish into the bucket. The trap fish are then collected. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment and share.